I have a Ford King Ranch and a Ram Longhorn. How often is it that you get two cowboy trucks that are pretty much the best in the segment together in one video? I borrowed these trucks from Larry H. Miller Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram in Sandy, Utah and Larry H. Miller Super Ford here in Salt Lake City. This truck is available, this truck is not. Let's go ahead and start with the front end of these pickups and then we'll move our way back. Starting with the King Ranch, this is a pretty unique one because it has the chrome package. So instead of having a two-tone paint, they basically give you chrome bumpers, front and rear, and they basically color match the bottom part in the center where the cab is to the truck. Chrome door handles come apart of that package as well. Now, you guys can see the front grille is all chromed out. You also have a little bit of color here, which is pretty unique to the King Ranch. Forward facing camera, recovery hooks. You have the reflective style LED headlights, which I'm a little disappointed by Ford with. They should have just added the projector style because this is a high trim level, but you still have projector style fog lights. Parking sensors are gonna come standard on this truck as well. Ram, however, this one does have the two-tone. Now, two-tone is an option. If you don't like the two-tone, you can go with the chrome package that the Ford offers or you can still get a monochromatic look with this truck. So you don't have to necessarily have the two-tone because two-tone is definitely old school. And I think most people would prefer to have that monochromatic look. But with the Ram Longhorn, you have the premium front lighting, right? So you have a projector style, really nice design, full LED headlights. Fog lights are reflective style. They do hide the parking sensors up front. This one also has a forward facing camera. Now online, there is a Longhorn level one package. It's like 4,200 bucks. You can undelete it. So pretty much everything that you guys are gonna see on this truck comes standard. Now, when you get the Chrome package, they do provide a different wheel style. I will say most guys are gonna prefer this one over the one with the two-tone paint. 20 inch wheel, Bridgestone Dueler tire. Now, if this was a single rear wheel, you would have a 20 inch and an 18 inch wheel option for the King Ranch. I love that they give you those two wheel sizes. This is obviously gonna be a 17 inch wheel on the dually. You would get Firestones with the single rear wheels or the Nexans. With the Ford, you would get the Bridgestone Duelers or the Michelins with the F350. And I think the Continentals come a part of that F450 package too. Here's some of the badging on the side there. You guys can see it says King Ranch, F350. And then here's some of that badging on the side. This is the diesel. Actually, both trucks have the diesel engines there. And here's just a better look at those mirrors. A little bit of chrome. You guys can see they do have cameras on both sides as well. So 360 camera view, smart key system on the sides too. Now, I think Ram has the better mirrors here. You have top and bottom heat. You have the spotlight here, which is not available on this side. And they both do power extend. And you can also power this convex, which you cannot do on the Ford side. But they do provide this keypad here if you don't have your key with you to get in and out of the truck. As far as the cabs go, everyone knows this by now, Ford has the bigger cabs for sure. And we'll go over the interior in a second. Now, if you're looking at a standard bed truck, Ford wins on tank capacity sides for DEF and diesel. So 34 gallon fuel tank for the standard bed setup, single rear wheel, 31 gallon is on the Ram. Now, if you get a dually or if you get a long bed truck on either side, Ford comes with a 48 gallon fuel tank. Ram has the option for the long beds to have a 50 gallon fuel tank option. So seven gallon DEF versus 5.7 gallon DEF. Ford definitely does have the better setup here because every truck you'll see that's long bed is gonna be 48 gallon, which as on the Ram is an option. So sometimes people forget to you know, select that box there but here's a look at the suspension I'm not really comparing this just letting you guys see it really quickly now one advantage that the Ram has is you have the availability to have air suspension right so this truck already has it hopefully you guys can see it down there and that's gonna help with you know load handling so if you put something heavy in the bed or if you're towing a heavy trailer the truck will actually raise itself back up and it helps with the ride too you have the availability to have a 410 with the dually. Same thing goes on the F350. 
and a 373 comes standard. Now, if you get a single rear wheel truck, 373 is the only one you can get with the diesel. On this side of the house, if you're looking at a single rear wheel, you can get a 331 or 355, and there is a locker out back which I don't think a locker is available for the 3500s, by the way, on the ramp side. Now for 2023 and 2024, Ford did offer these steps on the side of the bed. Not available on the ramps, right? So there's no steps. Now you have full LED tail lights on the ramp. I also do like the limited Longhorn badge, but look what Ford does. Ford goes all out. They give you a whole trim piece on the back of that tailgate and it's really cool it says king ranch however they do not give you full led tail lights on this truck so these are basically the same tail lights that you would see on a work truck like that right and this is a nearly hundred thousand dollar truck so just keep that in mind but you have parking sensors on both sides and i like what ram does you see how they hide the parking sensors down below in that trim piece i just like that a little bit better personally you also have led License plate lights on the Ram standard. These are going to be incandescent bulbs. But here's where Ford wins 100%. You have the sonar built in on the top of the tailgate. So when it's down, you still will have that sensor beep at you. And you have a backup camera. Also, you have 2,000 watts of power in the bed. And bed lighting. They both have bed lighting. And you can turn it on and off from the rear. I love that. Also, here's another flex with the Ford. You have a power tailgate. Now on the Ram, you do have an assisted tailgate, so it is assisted, it won't slam down, but you can pretty much tell 400 watts of power is lacking and you cannot put this up with power. You have to lift it back up like that and that's it. They do provide these lights down below for conventional trailers and here's the one for the Ford. Here's the high center light right there. It's gonna be LED bulbs inside of there and you have a bed view camera. The Ram has two cameras, one's bed view and one's for the rear view mirror. And that rear view mirror camera is not available for the Ford. So let's talk about the powertrains really quickly. With the Ford, you have the availability to have a gas engine. It's a 7.3 liter gas V8. The Ram on the other hand, you only can get the diesel so it comes standard with the standard output or you can get the high output Ford has done something similar to what Ram has done standard output and then high output power stroke now when it comes down to the numbers the Ford wins 100 percent it's not even close anymore you have the high output which has 500 horsepower 1200 pound feet of torque versus the Ram that has 420 horsepower and 1075 pound feet of torque but in my opinion inline six diesel is my favorite so I probably would always be biased in this case. I wish that Ford would do a inline six high output power stroke. By the way, if you didn't watch the video I did, I actually discussed that. And you might wanna check that video out when you have a chance. The moment you all been waiting for, here they are. The best cowboy interiors in the market. Let's kind of go piece by piece. Look what Ram has done with this door card. This saddle color leather, you guys can see the stitching color there. You have some black accents with some nice details right there. This wood trim piece is really porous and it feels like actual wood too. Love what they've done. You have that black um, plastic trim piece down below. We'd like to see more soft touch, however, but this is all hard plastic. Let's go ahead and check out the one on the Ford. The Ford's gonna come standard with the power deployable running boards. But check out this door, like this is just done perfectly. Now, one thing I like about the Ford is the attention to detail that they add around this interior. Hopefully you guys can see that, it says King Ranch right there. The wood trim piece up here, this is real wood. It's not as porous as what you saw on the Ram, but it's still a nice touch to the interior. You do have three seat memories versus two with the Ram. But yeah, the stitching, the piping is all done well. Same story though, all this is finished in hard plastic, but I do like the fact that they give you more of that brown interior around this one, which you'll see here in a second. Now let's go ahead and check out the seat. So here's where Ford's gonna kill it. They have what they call 
contouring seats, right? So you have massagers for the bottom and the top here that come standard. Also, these do have the match reclined seats, so this truck is gonna be easier to sleep in if you wanna take a nap or something like that too. So let's go ahead and check out the seats with the Ram. It says limited Longhorn edition right there. However, there is no massage function with these seats. Still really nice graphics that they add here and they do have some black with that stitching, a little bit of piping right there. Perforated leather on both sides. Heated and ventilated seats on both sides. But I just think that Ford having the contour seats is just the way to go. And let's just kind of check out the steering wheel. They do have adjustable pedals down below. This is a 10-way driver's seat as well. And check out the grab handles. They do add a little bit of leather. That's a really nice touch to this interior and more of that wood right there. Now this is not porous, but it does have that same feel that the Forge has. And here's some of the controls. So you have adaptive cruise control on both sides. They both are gonna have a 12 inch gauge cluster stitching up on the dash. All this is soft touch, it's like a leather material. It's probably more like a vinyl up here, but the seats are real leather, just as an FYI. You have the 12 inch display, which pretty much comes standard on limited Longhorn. If you go online, it'll say the 8.4 is standard, but you cannot delete that limited level one equipment group. So last thing I wanna show you before we move over, check this out. You have a big badge right there and more of that graphic design that you guys saw on the door. It's just done well. This is the Ford. You guys can see their logo for the King Ranch. And as I mentioned too, this one doesn't have the leather wrap for that grab handle there, but look at the overall design here. And most of the trim pieces that you see in this interior are unique to the King Ranch. But 12 inch display, 12 inch display. This one has that horizontal screen versus the vertical one in the uh, Ram, but even on the steering wheel right here, you guys can see King Ranch logo right there. And it's just done well. This is a big steering wheel, definitely bigger than the Rams. Push button start on both sides. And as I mentioned, you do have a locker. Now this may be optional, so just keep that in mind. Something else that Ford gives you is five drive modes. That's not available for the Rams currently right now. But this trim piece here looks really nice. Oh, you got a little bit of a glare there. See if we can fix that, there we go. So yeah, looks really good. But here, you can do four cup holders. You still have the ones out back. And then your center console is locked. Hold on one second. There it is. But I'm gonna show you guys the Rams, and this is where Ram just cleans up. But here are some more of the buttons at the very top here. This truck does have heads up display that's not available for the Ram. Auxiliary switches are in the best spot possible and home links right there. Now, do you guys notice how they do the brown roof in this truck? Oh, by the way, you do have a panoramic sunroof available, not available on the Ram. Now, if you're a Ram fanboy, that might have been kind of painful to watch, but don't get it twisted. Ram has some advantages of its own too. Starting off with the interior. If you don't like this darker atmosphere interior, this is one of two interior colors. They have a lighter color interior color that you can get. Although I will say this is my favorite one. With that King Ranch, you only have that interior color. So if you want something lighter, well, it's not available. You have to get that one. But I do like the overall layout better with this truck. You get way more USBs. You have four here and you have one inside of this area but the center console is where Ram wins. So when you get these higher trim levels, they give you these covers, which look so much nicer versus the Fords. This slides, so you have deep storage, power plug down below here. And if you need more storage, well, they give you a little bit of storage out back too. GM doesn't do this and Ford doesn't do this. They have the best center console. And I just think that the Ram just is just done better. By the way, you have a 12 volt plug at the very top here. No one else gives that to you. Harman Kardon on this side, and then you have the BNO sound system on the Ford side. Let's go ahead and check out the passenger side. 
Ford did not skimp out on this interior. I just want you to know that. And then here's the storage right here. And then they have more design. Now here's some of the power plugs for the Ford. By the way, I don't know if you guys know this, but you have the wireless charger and you have two USB. So as I mentioned, you just get a lot more with the Ram, okay? And these seats are gonna be massaged on the passenger side too. You can't leave out wifey, right? And then out back, that design continues. This cab is definitely bigger than the Ram's flat floor surface. You have two more USBs. They do add a power plug out back with a 12 volt. And yeah, having all these luxuries in a truck, it just, it's crazy, right? But that's what they do. And that's why the trucks are $100,000. Storage below, this is collapsible. Let's check out the Ram. So here's that interior side for the passenger. You gotta admit, they both do a really good job of the attention to detail. I do like how they give you like this like almost velvet material inside of here and they give you a light that's not available on that Ford. More of that leather treatment up here. Yeah, it's just done well. This is gonna be a 10-way seat, but no massagers. Out back, you guys can pretty much tell this truck is a little bit smaller. But look at how they give you these buckles back here. Looks like someone took it apart a little bit. But more power plugs. You have outboard heated seats on this side too. Four more USBs. There is no 12 volt plug, but you don't really need that with the type C USBs. But yeah, this is definitely a smaller truck. And you have this that does pop out if you want to sleep in the back. And on the other side, you do have a little bit of storage, but the subwoofer is on this side, so it does take up some of the storage area back here. But that will pretty much end the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope it was helpful. I've done separate videos on both of these trucks, so if you would like to see the payload, make sure you go back through my videos and check them out. See you guys soon.